Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a new segment on the channel called Reseller Toolkit Reviews. So in this segment, I'm gonna be looking at a whole host of items that we use as resellers and simply giving them a little bit of a review. So obviously a few of you may be aware that I've wanted to change up my content a little bit on the channel uh, more recently. And I think incorporating a few of these reviews will help with my motivation with YouTube and really help explore different avenues of what I want to do with my channel. So with that being said, uh, we've got today to review the Smartway shipping and postal scales. Now this isn't gonna be an unboxing, but I will obviously go into a little bit of detail on how to use these and basically have a quick look at the box, a few of the different features, uh, all that sort of stuff. So without further ado, let's first get on and have a quick look, look at the box before we get into the meat of the review. So we've got the box here and apologies it doesn't fit completely on camera. Hopefully I may get a little bit of a better setup for these reviews in future. But it's these smart way shipping and postal scales. You can see there's a graphic of it on the box there. But we don't really need the graphic because obviously it is just there. Um, it's got a few different things, a few different kind of advertising points let's say. Uh, durable and accurate, this scale can be used for a variety of weighing purposes. Expandable cord, in fact the cord is really really good, you can see the cord there um, and I will tell you a feature of the cord in a little bit that obviously makes it a little bit easier for weighing packages. Uh, the unique hold function allows you to lock the precise weight reading, that's an interesting feature as well and we've also got a large LCD display as you can see there, which is very good because obviously you don't want a really small display or else you're not gonna be able to read the weight properly. So that's the front of the box, I will flip you around to the back. So again, just a little bit more kind of advertising on the back advertising different functions and stuff that it has. So the modes, it offers various different modes from pounds, ounces, kilograms or grams. Uh, it's got a nice sleek design on it. But the most important is this capacity here. Um, it has a high weight capacity of 50 kilograms or 110 pounds. And that is what really appeals uh, to me about this scale is that it has that high weight. So obviously if I'm posting something that's 10 kilograms, 15 kilograms, something like that, it's gonna be really, really way within that capacity. Obviously, I don't think I ever really post things out of 50 kilograms, but it's nice to know that I've got that in there, I've got that capacity there. And you can see on this side of the box, we do have some more specifications and a nice little graphic there. It's also important to note that it does come with two AAA batteries, but they are kind of a slightly third party brand or lesser brand so you may want to change them out at some point and then put some better branded ones in there that may last a little bit longer um, but yeah so that's essentially the box and uh, we will get on with the meat of the review now in looking at the actual scale so here is the unit itself lovely little unit first thing i want to draw your attention to is the kind of flexibility of the display unit itself so it goes right to a right angle there and then right to 180 as well. So, you know, depending on your kind of eye positioning or where you're looking at the scale from, you can obviously uh, determine whether you want it laying flat like that or obviously up a little bit like that. I've just turned it on for some reason there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Um, but let's say you've got a parcel that you're weighing and you just wanna look down at the scale from sort of a bird's eye view. You can have it like that. Uh, obviously, if you're looking at it from a different angle, you can have it at a different position like that. So let's go ahead and let's turn it on using this on off button here. Also, the batteries included are already in there or they should be, so that's quite nice. So just gonna click the on off button here and it'll load for a second and then load up in grams. It loads up in grams because I think I set it in that. The default might be different, it might be kilograms, but don't worry, it's very, very ch easy to change the setting. So I've got this mode button here, again, that's just to change the setting. So it goes from grams here to uh, pounds and ounces, to pounds, to kilograms, and then back to grams again. So nice little range of items there, nice little range of functions. And you see it just gives us a reminder of the capacity there, 110 grams or 50 kilograms. So essentially that's the mode there. We also have a nice little tear option. Now this is used, um, may, you know, you, you see this a lot in cooking scales and things like that, because you might put a bowl on the scale 
and then obviously you can click the tear function to set it back at zero and then you can pour your flour in or whatever ingredients in and then it will give you an accurate reading without the measurement of the bowl as well or the weight of the bowl so obviously controversially if you'd like to you can actually use these scales as cooking scales as well so that's quite interesting and yes I know some of you may ask I have used them for cooking scales as well because I am a little bit controversial like that it also has a whole function which is very very interesting so let me just put this tape measure on here like this obviously you see it's reading it at 130 grams there with the tape measure on that's just one of the items I had to hand so I thought I'd just use this one uh, and then if we click this hold button here you can see a little LCD display there comes up with the word hold. And now if I remove the tape measure, you can see that it still reads 130 grams. Now, if I put that tape measure on there and didn't click the hold, as soon as I remove it, it goes straight back to zero. It goes straight back down to a zero and you wouldn't be able to obviously uh, know what the weight was unless you had you know wrote it down or remembered it uh, in the first place but it is good that little whole function it's quite in it's quite interesting little function uh, i've never actually really used it that much but again it's a very very nice interesting little function with these scales that i was happy to read about on the box actually so yeah that's an interesting little function there and uh, essentially that is basically the scales that is essentially it that's all you really need to know with them they are so simple so easy to use it's a nice little brand uh, they're quite durable they're quite long lasting um, and that's essentially all I really need to say about them obviously this cord here um, basically when it comes in the box you will have to actually attach this cord up now i think it may already be attached up to the side of it here if i just flip these around here it may already be attached into that side there but you will just obviously have to put the cord into this side of the scales there but it's very very easy obviously you do a quick attachment so um that's something that you will have to do obviously with the cord a good thing with the cord is that let's say you've got a large package you've got a really really big package that you want to put on these scales if you go for a conventional scale that has the LCD inbuilt onto this unit here and you put a large box on for example with a set of bathroom scales it would actually cover the display so you wouldn't be able to see the display but with this cord you can obviously pull this unit from under the box and then be able to see the reading on the display so that's another positive for these scales as well and that's a big positive for the cord and it's something that i've uh, obviously used in the past when i've been getting big packages on there it's also brilliant just for obviously um looking at large letter packages or little packages as well small parcel packages all that sort of stuff is fine obviously you probably won't want to use it for really 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 small items or really really light items because it probably won't read it on these scales you'll want to get yourself some pocket scales or something like that to be able to weigh really really small items but things like large letter size if they're maybe, you know, 30, 50, 70 grams, 100 grams or whatever, they're fine on there. It will read them. So I do use these even for those items as well. So it is just a nice little scale. Now these are coming in at $34.99 on Amazon. There will be a link in the description. Now full disclosure, it is a Amazon affiliate link. But as I say, there will be a link down there below if you would like to buy these scales. So yeah, it's just a nice little pair of scales. It'll see you quite a while. I've had these for a very, very long time. Not these exact ones, actually. I have bought a new pair of these, not because my old ones are broke. They are starting to get that way. Uh, they are starting to get a little bit lazy. But I just wanted to buy another pair just so that then I've got them in and I can have that older pair as a backup. But I've actually used that older pair for three years now. And I pretty much use scales almost every day, as you would imagine, being an eBay seller, posting a lot of items out. Um, and yeah, although they are slowly on their way out, they've lasted me quite a long time. And the $34.99 for potentially three years of use, that is pretty good in my opinion. So I do have quite a lot of positives to say about these scales. Um, 
and they just seem like a, a decent set of scales in my experience and also in my opinion but essentially that is the review thank you very much for joining me if you did enjoy it if you got good information out of this review then please do whack a like on it if you would like any comments or questions or queries or anything like that then please do drop them down below in the description and uh, i suppose i will leave it there for this one and i will see you in the next one so i will see you very soon guys Thank you.